Hi guys, Latanya Davis here to talk to you a little bit about desegregation. I'm here in Chicago today, this weekend. I'm visiting my cousin, I'm pretty excited to see him. Um, but I'm actually here to talk to you a little bit about the case that started it all. In 1954, the Brown versus Board of Education case was a very huge pivotal case in desegregation. And it happened in Topeka, Kansas, and it was seen by the Supreme Court voted it unconstitutional to segregate schools, which is a really big win for you know people that were for, for it. However, there's a lot of people that were against it. When this happened, it took about five to seven years for schools to decide to actually uh, desegregate, um, but they finally did start to do that. Um, a little bit of relation with the case and myself, um, I actually got an opportunity to meet Mr. Brown's daughter. He actually had a daughter that recently passed away, but the other daughter, she um, she presents to schools about her dad and the things that he went through. And she actually told me that this was a class action lawsuit. And apparently when there is a class action lawsuit, uh, everyone that votes uh, or that's written in the lawsuit, they're actually put in alphabetical order, and that's how Mr. Brown was able to get his name on the lawsuit first, because his last name started with a D. I actually got lucky in college at Northwest Missouri State to have dinner with uh, Miss, Miss Brown, um, and she talked during dinner. I'm really lucky uh, Mr. Hubbard uh, gave me that opportunity, and we, not only did I was able to have dinner with her, we talked about uh, my life and my uh, situation going through desegregation, um, but also I got an opportunity to present uh, in front of the school at Northwest and introduce her, which was really exciting. Um, so that was really cool. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to talk to you um, with my cousin who's actually here, and we're going to talk to you about his experience in Chicago uh, going through to through the elementary school and his experiences. So we're gonna go through that right now, all right? So, Chris, talk Hello. to me about some of your experiences in elementary school and if you went um, saw any of the experiences in the desegregation program. Okay, so growing up in public schools, um, I really wasn't too sure about segregation, you know, um, in history books, all I knew was that was something that happened in the 60s, you know, and it was, we made it through it, and it was all over with, you know, part of history. I didn't actually see any effect of it for my real life, mm -hmm. you know, but now coming, I'm 28 years old, I'm a serial entrepreneur, things like that. Coming into that, um, I've, you know, worked in different activist groups, you know, Trayvon Martin protests, things like that, I've able to, I was able to find out, you know, about um, segregation and desegregation and the causes and effects. But as far as I can remember, as a young person growing up in school, um, I went to an all black, I mean, I went to a, a school where it was, um, you know, a bus kids were bused in to my school, and with this school, um, I never really understood why these kids were bused in. Um, they, I, I, I can't even say that I had a friend, you know, that was bused in. I can't even recall speaking to one of them besides one that was my sister friend, and I remember she was a pretty uh, girl and she had very nice school supplies, you know, and I remember being uh, complimenting her on those things. And the other part about school and as far as segregation and desegregation of school, I had a teacher in the fourth grade and she would talk to us a lot about how um, the school that she had worked at before was basically, it seemed to us, uh, from my fourth grade understanding, a much better school, much further along, and it kind of gave me the the hint that I didn't realize that what she was doing to later on in life that 
things at our school wasn't the same as those that were busted. Okay. Wow, that's good information. Chris, can you talk about, because we talked about um, desegregation and some people are for it and some are against it. What is your, what are your thoughts? My thoughts, um, honestly, I don't, I haven't done enough research to really pick a side, but I do see benefits on both sides of the spectrum. Um, just being with my activist people and buddies, you know, my dad, even my dad, I was talking to him about it last night and he said that, um, I told him my cousin, <laughs> my cousin's writing a book about desegregation. He said, desegregation? Oh, no. Nah. She shouldn't be talking about that. Like, desegregation is the bad thing, you know? So, just, I know there's a lot of different opinions about it and how it works and the effects of it and how it affects um, those that are subject to it. But as for me, um, I, I never had anyone outside of my, uh, you know, to my background who came from where I'm from um, until I was in college, you know. Everyone else was pretty much from the same area. Okay. Wow. That's really good information. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, I, I, my pleasure. Thank you, guys. All right. So... That's some good information. Uh, it's good to know different perspectives of the desegregation program. Obviously, I am pro desegregation because I am a product of it and I saw the benefits of it. However, it is very important to know that there are two sides to everything and there are very good points on both sides. So thank you so much for that. And thank you guys for watching and please like, share, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next week. Thank you.